Good morning, grandkids. This is our second new series of the new year. This is the new lady in this series, and this series is called Blood Sisters. Hello, my name is Jerry, just like a guy, but it is J-E-R-R-I, not J-E-R-R-Y. I had a bad childhood and never made in my parents too happy, I guess. I suppose I was a wild child. Still am, I reckon. I finally left home at an early age. Kicked around the country on my own, stealing, selling, until I could buy a better weapon than any I could steal. Then I learned how to defend myself, getting some training wherever I could, mainly in exchange for whatever I could steal, whatever loot I could find, and then giving it to them for my training for them to sell. Finally, I hooked up with some bad cats and hung out for a while with them in a skooma den. During all this trying to survive, I heard rumors from people who knew or had known my family, even from before I was born. From them, I learned that I had an older half-sister. We had two different fathers. Evidently, she left home even earlier than I had. She had been living with her father, and I had never known her. These people had described her to me, and I carried that around with me in my head scrutinizing young women's faces from time to time just on the chance that I'd run into her someday. <clears throat> Sometimes I would ask people about her and I'd describe her to them. Finally, one day, just recently, someone told me that they saw a lady who looks just like my description coming in and out of the Companions Guild in White Run. So, here I am, in white one, outside the guild. And I'm nervous about going in and looking for her. I don't know if she'll even believe I'm who I say I am. But then I don't know if she'll even care if she does believe me. Or how she'll react. She might just tell me to get lost. Well, I guess I'll just have to suck it up and go in. Man, I've never been this nervous facing a bandit or a skooma dealer. Okay. Okay. We're going in. There it is up there. I got a follower to help me out <clears throat> and things. I don't know where he went. I'll probably get rid of him soon. I think I'll get rid of him now. I don't want to walk in there dragging somebody along behind me. Bell <coughs> ran. Don't walk away, man. All right, I'll let you go later. Oh, gosh. Oh, this place is called Jorvisker. <clears throat> Here goes nothing. What a hall. 
May All the right, gods yeah. watch over your battles, friend. Well. Aye. I think it's time for us to part ways. If I ever need you, I'll come pick you up again, Belran. If that's what you want. It is. Watch your back out there. And if you need me again, you know where I'll be. That's right. There you go. Alright, let's look at this place. This is really something. I can see a whole gang of guild members sitting around this fire. Who are these guys? Can I talk to them? Brill? I'd be dead if not for Vignor. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. Really? Well, maybe they can help me too. Who are the companions? To hear Vignor tell it. A bunch of layabouts and useless viners who used to know how to fight. But he thinks everything used to be better. I, for one, would trust any companion with my life. Well, that's two different opinions, isn't it? Farewell, my lady. Vignor Greymane. We Greymanes have been feuding with the Battleborns for years. There's no more bitter enemy than an old friend. Uh, they used to be old friends? Your clans used to be friends? Aye. We used to be fast friends. Though it was long ago. We were two of the city's oldest and most respected clans. And we could trace our histories all the way back to Isgrimor's companions. But wow. then Olford got rich and decided he and his kin were too good for us simple, backwards Nord folk. When the troubles began, he took the Empire side. We haven't spoken much since then. I see, I see. Tell me about the Grey Manes. Oh, we've got an old saying. The Grey Manes have lived in Whiterun since the first snows fell in Skyrim. That's a long time. Well, maybe that's not entirely true. But our clan's got a long and proud history in this old. We respect the old ways, the Nord ways. And the Grey Mane has worked the Skyforge since before the time of my grandfather's father. Wow. So I'll bet you make all the weapons for the companions. All right. I was done talking anyway. <laughs> well, so was I. I'm actually looking for someone in particular. Which I don't know where I'll find him. Oh, who's that over there? Wait, lady, wait. If you wish to hunt with me, <gasps> your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. You look like her. Isgrimor himself wouldn't have the pick Oh my god, I do believe that's her. How do I tell her? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should wait till we get better acquainted and then tell her. Oh god, I don't know what to do. Hmm. Let me follow her out here and see what happened. Where did she go? They have a practice area out here. Where did she go? Let's go talk to these guys. Holy cow. One day when you and I are on the circle, we could change how things are run around here. I don't think that's how the circle works. They're lording it over us all the time, though. Young warriors are smart to listen to older ones. They've lived. That's true. I don't know if I mm. like you. I haven't seen you before, have I? Have we met? No. I'm sorry if I've forgotten. Oh, 
Well, you probably are, sound like a drunk. I just got here. Who's in charge around in here? In charge of what? I'm in charge of me, and you're in charge of you. Oh, If you're brother. looking to join up, Codlack's the one to be talking to. That's what I asked you. Codlack. All right, then. Fight with us, and you'll have stories to tell. I will. Come up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. I am at Joris Vasker, aren't I? Until next time. I swear, every wanderer who shows up in Whiterun looks weaker than the last. I'm sorry. I didn't think I looked that weak. But you sound like more of a believer in the companions than that buddy back there did. Until next time. Sure. Where did that guy go that was sitting? Oh, he moved. Here to be a companion? Well, they just let me in, so there's Big probably Nark no more room. We Grey Manes have been feuding with the battle Oh, Bones I just for talked year. to you inside, didn't I? There's no more bitter enemy than an old friend. Oh, who are you? You look strong. Come to your Vasker and be a companion. All right. Where do you? St oh, I don't care about the war. Why did you join the companions? Vilkas and I have been here since we were little whelps. Our father Jurgen raised us here. Even Vigner really? couldn't remember companions younger than us. Aw, you were raised here in this place. That's kind of cool. Can I join the companions? Codlack is the one who figures out who can be a companion. So talk to him. It's out of my hands. Okay. Okay. All right then. I'm talking anyway. There's that girl that was sitting over here. She moved. Everybody moves to a different seat. You don't belong here. What do you think you have to offer? Well, you're a nasty little twit until next time well if I have my way there won't be a next time talking to you all right where am I gonna find this codlet Oh, who are you? Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. You want to talk to one of the companions, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Tilma. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye. I haven't seen you before, have I? Have we met? No, I already talked to you. All right, where am I going to find Codlack? Well, I'm not going to go looting their chests or anything just yet. Well, what's this book? Helgard's Tale? I don't wear heavy armor. But I could sell that, I guess. Maybe I should leave it lay there on the table. What's this? Hmm, I wonder if that's one of the blades of smithy made. Oh, look at these. Wow. Oh, here's a stairs. What's that over there? Hmm. Jarviscar living quarters. Ooh, maybe. I don't know if I'm supposed to go in there or not. It's not locked. Where is everybody? 
Maybe they're all out wandering around in town. But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden God, to bear. But and we Bilkis. can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. Yeah, the rest, some of the rest don't seem to think too much of the companions anymore. Sir. Codlack White Mane. I'd like to talk to you, please. A stranger comes to our hall. Yes, I'm a stranger. And actually, I was looking for someone, but I think I'm not going to reveal myself to them until a little later on. I would like to join the companions. That way I can stay close to her. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Mm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. I do have that, sir. Master, you're not truly considering accepting her. I am nobody's Why not? master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your Vasker for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Only just arrived. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, girl? I, I can handle myself, but I still have much to learn. That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Vilkas, take her out to the yard and see what she can do. All right. I... Let's go. Hey, wait for me. I'm here. Let's go. the yard. That must be that practice area I saw back there. I haven't seen your face before. I'm watching you. The old man said to have a look at you. So, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm Someone getting out something. of fight. You might just Somebody make help. I can take it. <laughs> Hey, I didn't mean to hit you, man. I'll spare you. For now. Alright, you want me to do it some more? What else am I supposed to be doing, man? What do you think this is? <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't mean to hit you. It just happens. Well, Farkas, Vilkas, hey, I like that thing on your, that, is that a wolf head on your armor? A werewolf head? Very cool. Alright, are we through here? Not bad. Next time won't be so easy. 
You might just make it. But for now, you're still a wealth to us, New Blood. So you do what we tell you. Yes, sir. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Probably, because I don't think I'm worth much. All right. Where do we take this? Where? Ooh, look at that cool place up there. Oh. Is this your forge up here? Man, this is a cool place. Oh. I could have handed him this sword, but I want to see all this. Cool. Man, he's got everything he needs up here. All right. Uh. What brings you here? Well, Vilka sent me with his sword. I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. Yes, yes, I am. Does Vilkas always send newcomers on errands? Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. <laughs> and don't always just do what you're told. Really? Nobody rules anybody in the companions. Oh, really? Someone has to be in charge. Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrimor. Kodlak is the harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own. Every woman, her own. I see. Okay. Are you a companion as, as, as their smithy? Not actually a companion myself. But none of them know oh. how to work a forge properly. And I'm honored to serve them. Oh. My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge. Best steel in all of Skyrim. All of Tamriel. Great. I like your armor, man. Uh, okay. I'll Wait. remember that. Before you go, I have a favor to ask. What? What is it? I've been working on a shield for Aella. Aella. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much oh. obliged if you could take this to Aella for me. Oh, I'd gladly do that. I'm happy to lend a hand. Well done. So I'm going to get to actually meet Ayla. I wonder if she's back inside. downstairs she probably has sleeping quarters down here I wonder if I'm gonna get to have sleeping quarters down here we shall see we shall see oh look look at all the beds young ones scampering around. Worried one of them is going to take your place? Some of them might try. That's not what I'm worried about. What then? That they might get themselves killed. By you? They should be Where is she? <clears throat> Man, there's all kinds of rooms in here. <gasps> there she is. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh. All right. Grandkids, I'm going to leave it here. And when we come back, Jerry is going to meet her half-sister, Ayla. Goodbye, grandkids. <laughs>